Good morning, happy Saturday, happy weekend, happy 2nd of December. really cozy coffee shop tea house and I'm going to not going to stay here long and just sat down for a, with a cup of coffee and I'm going to head up to the hotel apartment hotel shortly my hair is very funny <laughs> anyway um, and a friend will arrive uh, and I think it'll be nice I'm getting blisters on my heels though which isn't great and I'm sitting here waiting for the login information to arrive. Not login information, check-in information. Because it's an apartment hotel. And they said around three. So I'm going to drink my coffee and then I'm going to head up. This is where I'm going to stay tonight. An apartment hotel. So first there's the bathroom with a shower TV sofa there's a little balcony as well so probably super nice in summer and there's the bed and a very very steep stairs that goes up to a rooftop garden I think I actually climbed up, uh, had difficulties getting downstairs again because I'm so scared of steep stairs. And here's the kitchen nook with the fridge and stuff. with Mina Nili by Shama, Shavana Rema and I have mixed feelings about this book in some ways it's super interesting because Shavana Rema has had a really interesting life she's been very fearless she's followed her heart she's been very unafraid in many ways but it's very clear that even though she was the one who was supposed to write the book and then she passed away a year ago 
and then it was finished by Martin Trovik. Uh, he was the one who got all the fragments that she left for this book and finished writing it. So it's very hard to know when it's the voice of Trovik and when it's the voice of Riemann and that is one of the things that the book has been criticized for. I've also read um, some, um, some, some reviews that has said that it's a very messy book in many ways and I will have to agree with that actually because it is a bit messy at times, it's a bit f fragmented, it's a bit some sometimes repetitive it's like i feel like i've read this part of the book already or they're like okay so you have like a bunch of papers and you kind of shuffle them together and then try to make a book of it out of it it's and then you kind of been in maybe a rush i don't know if there they've been like a rush to finish it but it seems like that to me because it could have been probably better edited. I think the book would have benefited if for being more edited. It will also have been um, better if we knew where there were like Shabana Remond's words and where it was Trovik's words, even though he had like all the diary notes and a lot of papers that she had left behind he was the one who had the access to a lot of notes and things she left behind after she passed away and i kind of have a mixed relationship with uh, shabana rehman personally because when i started uh, studying to become a librarian i did library and information science and we had like a grand opening uh, when we st uh, start of the study year, uh, the first year. And we had that together with the journalist. And Shabana Raymond was a youth journalist. And she had this big speech to all of us, all the fresh uh, journalist and librarian students. And she told a lot about being a journalist and like what that meant and things like that but for us the librarians all she said was and this is probably because she's supposed to be really funny and she was sometimes really funny not always but she was a comedian as well and I think it was like a, a, a way for her to like be funny but it was like overused and that was when she said oh and for you librarians, remember to practice your shh. So for me, that was like, okay, so when were you last in a library? Because librarians haven't been like hushing for a long time, very, very long time. So I was so disappointed that she had this grand speech for the journalist students, while for us librarians, all she could say was the old fashioned remember to say hush. Like, really? So I have a mixed feelings because she was fearless. She did a lot of good th things. She did like animal rights. She did women's rights. She did anti-racism. She did a lot of really, really good stuff. And of course, she had tough times as well. And uh, for that, I, I admire her. So a bit of a mixed feelings there, but also this book would have benefited, f well, not also, but what I wanted to say that this book would have benefited for, from being better edited and being less messy. I haven't quite finished it. I have a little bit left. Uh, I will probably finish that either later tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. I'm not quite sure yet, but tomorrow is also the first day of the Queer Readathon and I am taking part in that and I am going to start with one of the books that is like the common read or the group, one of the group reads. Not going to talk about that in this video, um, but I just thought I wanted to end it here because I 
I'm not going <laughs> not going to do like yesterday when I went to bed way too late. I was almost falling asleep over my phone trying to get my my video from yesterday out. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to finish here rather than fall asleep over my phone again. <laughs> so yeah, that was the second day of uh, Vlogmas and I will see you in my no, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>